foundations or in glass bottles, you're not allowed. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna and I make mental health videos, but I also make a few videos about my general life and my day to day, like what I do. If you would like to hear more about my story and what I've been through, I will leave a playlist in the description box down below. But without further ado, let's get started. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm wrong, I got it, I got it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what you should pack slash bring to a mental health hospital. So I'm going to be talking from the perspective of a UK hospital. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but this might give you a few ideas as to what you can and cannot bring. So just a bit of backstory. I have been in a mental health psychiatric ward about eight times. And in those eight times, I've been sectioned twice. So I have made a fair few mistakes when it comes to packing and what I can and cannot pack. So I thought I'd make this video just in case any of you are thinking you possibly might go into a mental health hospital or you know that you're having a planned admission and you know you're going in. So the first thing I would say to pack is some comfy clothes. So make sure you've got plenty of comfy clothes, leggings, pyjamas, baggy tops. Make sure you've got plenty of things that are comfy and that you don't worry too much about because sometimes in mental health hospitals like you know you're not feeling very well so you don't want to bring your best clothes to a mental health hospital that is just the worst thing to do ever so you don't want to go ahead and bring your best clothes to a mental health hospital you just don't know what's going to happen and you don't know what other patients are going to do and I've got a story time coming on that actually, so stay tuned for that. The next thing I would recommend that you bring to a mental health hospital is any medication that you're on. So this can be useful for the doctor, and if you bring the medication, like they won't necessarily use it, but they just, they will be able to see what you're on and the prescription that you have. Because in a hospital, they usually are able to get hold of all the medications that you would be on. So there's no point digging into your stash, but also like they they might make some changes to your medication. So there's no point bringing in a whole month's worth of supply because you know, they're probably gonna make a few changes or alterations to your medication. The next thing I'd recommend that you bring is to be aware that most mental health hospitals, especially in the UK, don't let you bring spray deodorants. So you know that the deodorants that you spray and the aerosol type ones, they don't let you bring them and I've never understood why. But always make sure you pack a roll-on deodorant because especially if you're sectioned or if you're going into a hospital that doesn't allow you to leave for the first 48 hours, regardless of whether you're sectioned or informal, I would say definitely bring a roll-on deodorant because most hospitals do not allow the aerosols. As I said, I do not know why. The next thing I'd recommend that you bring to a mental health hospital is some colouring books, some things to get, keep you kind of going throughout your stay. Colouring books are a good one because then you could just bring some colouring pencils or some pens. Pens are probably better because they don't need sharpening. You could potentially also bring a pen and maybe a crossword or a word search or any sort of puzzle book because you will be very bored a lot of the time in these hospitals. Like the ones I've been in, literally they have a few activities but they don't make you do them. So it's kind of like you can do them if you want to but if you don't fancy doing it or if they don't take your fancy then you don't have to if you don't do the activities there's nothing really on the ward that you can do so having a few things that you can do that is like gonna you know, keep your keep your mind occupied is one of the really good things to pack another thing i would recommend that you pack is to avoid underwire bras now some hospitals they don't allow underwire bras but some are, are okay i i don't really know i suppose it also depends on your risk so putting in t-shirt bras or putting in sports bras or putting in any sort of thing without any wire underneath it is probably the best way to go. The next thing that I'd recommend that you bring to a mental health hospital is some money. So I'd recommend not bringing your debit card or your credit card or anything like that. And I would also recommend not bringing anything that is valuable. So literally bringing something like a bit of cash and possibly like your house keys or just your house key like no no other keys obviously if you're going by a &E and you just bought everything you can't really like go home like especially if you're going straight from there to the hospital but yeah i would recommend that if you've got a planned admission to avoid bringing anything valuable the next thing i'd recommend that you bring to a mental health hospital is your phone and your phone charger most hospitals will actually take the phone charger away from you 
and they will like let you charge it in the office and things like that but I'd still recommend you bring it and that'd be one thing just be warned that they will take away from you when you get admitted because unless your risk is you know you're not a risk then they you know they, they might not take it away from you but for most people especially for the first 48 hours they will take away your phone charger but they can you can keep your phone most times so you know that's also another distraction method that you can use when you're in hospital so the next thing i recommend that you bring to a mental health hospital is a hairbrush and plenty of hair ties so not necessarily loads but maybe like 10 or so hair ties i usually opt for the scrunchies only because they're more comfortable in my hair but it's whatever you feel most comfortable with. I would avoid bringing anything with like clips or anything like that. Just stick with a hair scrunchie and a hairbrush or hair comb. I made the mistake once of not bringing any sort of thing like that. I had a few scrunchies. I know I think I had a like a band, like a hair band around my wrist, but that was it. I didn't have a hairbrush. I didn't have a comb. I didn't have nothing. They gave me this comb to brush my hair with but it did not work and it ended up pulling out half my hair. So, well not half my hair, but it ended up pulling out a lot of my hair. Like it would come out in clumps because the, the, the comb was just so flimsy that it wasn't able to like get the knots out of my hair. So it was just pulling them out. And yeah, so I'd highly recommend bringing a hairbrush or a comb or something like that so you can brush your hair in the morning. The next thing I'd recommend is possibly if you use any facial wash or serums or creams like eye creams or anything like that so most of the time if it is a medicated cream say for example you've been given a, a face cream like for your eczema or anything like that they will usually take that away and they will give you a little bit whenever you need it but for the most part if you've got anything like you've bought from a drugstore or like they call it a drugstore in america we could call it like whatever the store is called so in england like super drug or boots if you've gone in there and you've brought just like a vitamin c cream I actually use a vitamin C cream like on my cheeks and on my eyes. I it's something I knew I've been trying and I think it's kind of helping depending on the bottle that it's in. So I'll get onto that in just a moment. I would avoid bringing anything that is in a glass bottle. A glass bottle is a big no-no. They will tell you to like, you know, that they will take it away from you and only give you a bit of the product. So I would always try and bring if you want your makeup, bring things in plastic tubes and things like that foundations are in glass bottles you're not allowed they will take them away and they might give you a little bit depending on how busy they are but just to avoid all that situation i would always bring things in plastic tubings or plastic bottles and use those in terms of skincare products it's exactly the same if it's in any sort of glass bottle they usually take it away from you so thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button and i shall see you in my next one nobody can make a feel down she was always my